Welcome to launching the pilot with your hosts, Brian and Paul. Hello and welcome to Launching the Pilot episode 148. Hello. <laughs> and this is Here Comes Tobar. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> 1957. In case you haven't realised, Tobar is robot backwards. I, I thought it was the chocolate. Oh, I'm, I was hoping. I mean, we, <laughs> Tobler Road. Oh no, I've got it wrong. We did Magnums. We've done Heroes. <laughs> I, I was all for Tobars. I was all. I love Tobler Road. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. In fact, I had some before I came out to do this podcast. But you didn't bring any. No, damn right. <laughs> What a pig. Toba, Toba. <laughs> Toblerones are not for sharing. <laughs> With anyone. It's very true. <laughs> Alright, so... And Poundland no longer do them. What? No, uh, they don't. Oh, it's been a long time since I've been to Poundland. They don't do them anymore. Oh, it's not good. Point? I don't know. Someone else must do them for a pound, though. Well, I think Wilkinson's does. Alright. Oh, oh, actually, no. B&M. Yeah, and sometimes uh, Smiths on the counter, there'd be uh, uh, oh, well. discounted ones. So, Mr. Toblerone, if you're out there, yeah, please send us some in and we'll keep plugging your... Uh... <laughs> now, what do you think about the bigger spaces between the triangles? Well... You've accepted it. I've accepted it. It's it's, it's just the way it is. Yeah, it's, it's Toblerone. We have to move on with life. Sometimes decisions are made that we can't control. Yeah. And we just have to live with it. Much like this podcast, <laughs> when you keep picking these programs. Yeah. <laughs> it's beyond my control and I just have to live with it. <laughs> we could do a new podcast, The Chocolate Hour. <laughs> yeah. Do you think we'd get free samples? If we... yeah, well, fair, fair enough. We get nothing from this one. No. <laughs> I'd be abused. <laughs> yeah, that's from each other. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the cold silence of the listener. Yeah. <laughs> I think that means they're being attentive. Uh, well, it's coming up to Christmas. We do accept gifts. <laughs> <laughs> and the Toblerone bar wouldn't go amiss. No. That'd be a start. I'd settle for a Kit Kat, a single finger. <laughs> Kit Kat. You can have a, I'm going for the Toblerone bar. Anyway. Anyway, Tobar the... Here comes Tobar. Here comes Tobar, the automatic submarine robot. Thing. Yes, that's, that's, that's exactly it. Yes. <laughs> the, the Tobar had a film. He was a movie star. Yes. I know. <laughs> I found that out. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise. Because when you try to look it up on IMDb, I couldn't find anything. Then I have to put in, here comes Tobar. Yes. To find the actual, the programme. Yep. Look out. Remember how it began. I had just finished hooking up my latest invention, the combined radio radar scanner I was testing for the Navy. As soon as I switched it on, I heard the mysterious signal. What we got? Oh, right, here, oh we go. Right, here, yeah. we go. here we go. Sorry, I was, I've got... I was reading the title, but you've read that out. Yeah. Tobar and the automatic submarine. Of course, it was. Um, Tommy plays Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Tommy. <laughs> Why not? Rock on. I, I love this. Uh, Professor Adams is placed by Arthur Space. <laughs> <laughs> That's like know. Rick Torn, isn't it? It really is. is a great one, that one. <laughs> the, the, uh, uh, the proud family of space. <laughs> Space. It's, it's like somehow Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It is, isn't it? Marcus Adams would have created that yeah. character. Name Space. Arthur Space. space. <laughs> Beat my brother, fool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, poor we, bloke's in a wheelchair. Yeah, we get a voiceover. Do we? No, do I? Is that us? I can't remember who it is, but we got a <laughs> I think that's clean up on aisle five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who left this scrap metal there? <laughs> um, right. he's, he's invented a radar system for the Navy and he's getting a mysterious signal. 
Aren't we all, love? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's getting mixed signals from the Navy. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> young man, there's no need to look down. I said, young man. <laughs> um, he phones the FBI, but you would. And Steve is on the other end of the phone. Well, I've got here, I've got a man in a wheelchair. <laughs> man in a wheelchair. Let's start. Let's start. He's, he's in the wheelchair. <laughs> Adam needs Steve. Does he? And Steve needs Adam. Well, I've got here, he turns on a scanner. He does. And he, he, he gets to hear the latest Brian Eno track. Because it is just this weird, isn't it? It's, like, <laughs> it is. it's Brian Eno, it let's face it. It is. <laughs> FBI, Mr. Steve Forrester, please. Professor Bruce Adams. Steve, can you get over here right away? It's very urgent. Good. And bring a Navy expert with you who can break a secret code. What's that? What's that um, musical instrument where you? Oh, uh, a uh, ther pheromone. Pheromone. That's pheromone. What... Is it pheromone? Ther <laughs> Is that what they use to get animals? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> Could have made that up. I <laughs> probably have. Yeah, I'm going with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm painting in that copyright. <laughs> Theramine. Theramine, not pheromone, theramine. <laughs> it's a pear when it's a pheromone. <laughs> it's Brian Eno. <laughs> and the clangers met the soup dragon. <laughs> That's all the radar sound anyway. Oh, very, very, very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Practicing all week. When does the album come out? <laughs> January. Ah, uh, in the sale. <laughs> That's me and Yoko Ono. Is it really? I've heard rumours. <laughs> she won't become between us, don't worry. <laughs> oh, we got. Anyway, he calls... I've got... I've got... <laughs> I've got... He, he calls Emmy. Is that oh, Emmy to place an order? <laughs> no, got, sorry, he calls Steve. Yeah, uh, Professor Adams, call Steve. I need you and your Navy guy to come. Young man. Around. <laughs> <laughs> nice Navy guy. Yeah, he's come, come down to listen to my latest Brian Eno yeah. track. Oh, calls EMI. He calls it EMI. Emmy. Oh, God. We should have rejoiced this before we did well, this. Possibly not. No. I think we'll we, 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 we plow on through it a little less. Um, uh, yes, uh, and Steve and the Navy guy mm. turn up Turn up at the gate. Why are they holding hands in the I've car? I've no idea. Oh, okay. I'm not judging. I'm not sure the camera was on them. They didn't know the camera was on them at that point. <laughs> anyway, their motor's dead. Their motor is dead. Dead, Jim. It's the, killed by an electronic ray. The romance is gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, because... They're at the professor's lab in his secret lab, and he can cut all their engines. It's a so. secret lab. It's a bloody great oh, fence oh, around no. the outside saying it's "secret lab, lab this way." Yeah. <laughs> um, they have to show their ID to the camera. Yes, uh, I've got it. Uh, repeats himself three times. He does. Yes, he I've got it like a woman. <laughs> uh, uh, Paul's what? views are not my views. Um, I'll oh, get out of it. You just went in a Navy guy. <laughs> <laughs> Your motor has been killed by an interceptor ray. Your motor has been killed by an interceptor ray. Your motor has been killed by an interceptor ray. Come on, Talbot. Please show your credentials to the electronic eye at the gate. Please show your credentials to the electronic eye at the gate. Please show your credentials to the electronic eye at the gate. I thought I'd seen everything. This is only the beginning, my friend. Your credentials are in order. Your motor will start. Credentials are in order. Your motor will start now. Just try to. You, you have to repeat yourself to him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the car starts. It does. And they can drive through. Yep. And they see Tommy playing with two bar. Well, I got kicked because I didn't know it was Tommy. It's Tommy. It's, no, Tommy. No, it's Tommy now. Right? It's Tommy played by Tommy. No, oh, he's playing hoops. Yeah. He's playing hoops with a giant he's robot. And let's say giant is not the word. <laughs> no, right? okay. This thing is enormous. It's massive. It's like Godzilla, this yeah. thing. 
Think of Robbie the robot. Five times bigger. Taller. <laughs> yeah. His bigger brother. Yeah. It's big. It, it, they, they couldn't get a midget for this one, that's no, for sure. No. <laughs> I think, because this is the... They obviously felt, if we're going to make a robot, we're going to make a big one. I, I think they went to the guy, no, we know you played Gaul in the day the Earth stood still. Yeah. Could you play this robot as well? Which, You're kind of foot tall. Not a problem. Which is kind of a thing, because like, the fence is only six foot. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> we could <laughs> see him as he comes <laughs> past. <laughs> uh, t- apparently, Tobar works on ESP. He does. I always he, thought he it was does. Duracell, but apparently ESP. And he has a really good rating with Tommy. For some reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Steve Tell Navy. Um, Tommy can think like a robot. <laughs> Steve Tell's Navy friend, uh, in oh, yeah, one. Yeah. Uh, Tobar is controlled by ESP. Yes. A very high rating. Yeah. And, and basically, I do what Tommy says. Put the yeah. gun down. <laughs> 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 Professor Adam's nephew. That's who Tommy is. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the three free men, three <laughs> wise men, maybe not, start listening to Brian Eno again. Yeah. <laughs> And the Navy guy says it's, it's, it's not us, but oh wait a minute, didn't we lose a submarine? <laughs> well, oops! Oh, well, <laughs> we misplaced it. You know. <laughs> Was that a secret? Was we allowed to say that? Yeah. What's Operation Round Trip, Steve? Can you tell us, or, or is it a secret? <clears throat> oh, it's all right to talk in front of Tommy. He's been cleared for top secret material. One of our atomic submarines is on a non-stop round-the-world cruise. It was last reported south of Samoa two days ago. On schedule, on course. Since then? No report. She's officially listed as missing. There's a big search on under the guise of maneuvers. I think we know where she'll be. I hope so. Can you switch this on to the Navy broadcast band? Might find something very interesting. Sure. Now, they get on the Admiral... They get called the Admiral, he's got a direct line. I've got a, they've got a direct line to the President. Oh, no, it's the Admiral. <laughs> well, I've got it, because I've got the three men tra- backtracking and listening to Brian Eno. Yeah. Now, I've got it, Tobar's not quite good with, not good with steps. Must be related to a Dalek. <laughs> oh, doors. <laughs> yeah, apparently, <laughs> ducks for every single one. Yeah. Now, Tommy just bursts in. He does. What's happening? He What's does. going on here, he then? He just, what were you doing? What are you doing? Is yeah. that a secret? Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Then the Navy man goes, well, we lost one of our submarines. <laughs> but no, no, because... Professor Adams says, it's all right, Tommy is at t- top clearance. <laughs> <laughs> what is he, about seven? seven yeah. <laughs> <laughs> None of the other kindergarten kids know anything about this. Yeah. He doesn't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah. His teacher thinks he's got a vivid imagination. Because <laughs> um, they call Lieutenant Talbot. Oh, that, that must be the Navy guy, Lieutenant yeah. Talbot. Yep. Um, yeah, he's, they said there's a sub, um, it's, it's on a mission to go around the world. And they've missed it. Because <laughs> <laughs> the earth is flat. <laughs> it just fell off the edge. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> it's just that this was a big pile of ships that all fell off the end of the world. It was the, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the Navy haven't, haven't took this slide down. They're, they're out looking for it. Oh, God. Yeah. All of them. All of the Navy are looking for The this. whole lot. Yeah, all three of them. They say uh, they found it all because uh, the, the signal is the sub, isn't it? That's the train signal. Isn't yeah. It, actually, the sub. And the, the planes found it, but the planes start going down, don't they? Yes. Yeah. In the drink. And it's. Uh, well, I've got, yeah, I've got the, the planes leave the aircraft carrier. Yeah. yeah they, they spot the sub. Mayday. Yeah. He goes, oh, that's SOS. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That is. It's true. Well, <laughs> that, don't be so fake. No, I tell you. Uh, TV's uh, taught me much. But there's an interception ray knocking out the planes. Yes. Because the presser recognises it. Yeah. He says, "Oh, that's like my one that stopped the car coming in." Yeah. Oh, that's that's a that's a callback. So what they decide to do <laughs> is. <laughs> I have no idea how they decided this one. They're going to blast Tobar <laughs> in a robot in a, at the sub. In a missile. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're on the ship now, aren't they? Yeah, well, yeah, they're going to blast Tobar in a, in a <laughs> missile <laughs> towards the submarine, and yeah. he can go aboard <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> commandeer the sub, basically. He's going to climb inside a dinghy. <laughs> oh, no. Go towards the sub. Tobar's sitting there going, you know I can't do stairs. <laughs> Me and water's not pretty good either. You know I weigh 300 tons. 
<laughs> yeah, water, that's me, electrics. <laughs> okay, I don't think so. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Somehow, somehow, they squeezed him into a missile. <laughs> they did. We didn't see that scene, but <laughs> he's in there. <laughs> and, and Tommy goes to check on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're right. And they sealed Tommy up with <laughs> the missile. <laughs> Damn kid, I'm getting up of him. Can't top clearance, that's better than me. Yeah. Oh boy, here comes Tobar. <laughs> and they shoot it. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, Tommy's in the missile with Tobar. He is. And I've got. That's what I've got. How he got there, no one knows because he doesn't do steps. There was no steps for Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> no. How? I've no idea, but Dad instantly... Well, I put Dad, but Uncle. Yeah. Uncle. It's always Uncle, isn't it? He's not happy. I've got... <laughs> Professor, Professor Adams is not happy that they've launched Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> it was my only <laughs> grandson. I lost the other one. <laughs> but uh, I say not happy. He's not furious. He's just a bit miffed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to get me cup of tea now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least his secrets die with him. Yes, yes. <laughs> his um, top clearance secrets. Yeah. Now, he knew. How did he work out that he was in the missile? Uh, because he can't control... He's, they've, got, they've got like five key things that Tobar has to do. And as he does each one, a light comes on. Oh, yeah, but no, but before oh, that... Before that, sorry. Before that, I Uncle realises, doesn't he, yeah, that Tobar... Uh, Tommy's in the missile. Yeah, because I can't find him. Yeah, so he must be in the, the missile. missile. Yeah, I mean, Where else would he be? It's an aircraft carrier. It's, it's a small a place. Man overboard. No, no not a chance. No, He's no. in the missile. That's why I would put me money. Yeah. But Tobar holds on to him like a safety, safety belt. He does. He grabs him. Yeah. Safe. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Tommy's used to being grabbed. I mean, being <laughs> held like that. I mean, yeah, Tobar keeps himself. Yeah. Got you. Oh, the prophet says, the prophet says oh, oh, well. Right, I've got the five key things that Tobar has to do. Right, one, tow bar into life raft. <laughs> Two, enter sub. Yeah. Three, check for radiation. All right. Four, search for the crew. Yeah. Five, bring sub home. Here, Professor. Thank you. Now, let's see. I want to get the step commands clear. First, I order tow bar to get in the life raft. Wait for first reactor light to show he's obeyed. Two... Tell him to board submarine. Wait for light number two. Three. Test for radioactivity with a Geiger counter. Light number three will tell us he's doing that. Right. Four. Search for personnel. And five. Return the submarine to base. You'll have to be on your toes, Professor. The missile will sink 30 seconds from the time it strikes. Mark oh, brilliant. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that would, that, if I was going to choose five, that would have been the five I would have got. I, I think it's the most sensible way to do it. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't grumble with that really. Yeah, I think maybe check radiation first, but well, no, it's got to get in the life raft. I understand that, you know, <laughs> that's got to be a key programming thing. But they, we got, they're going to use long range ESP, aren't they? They are. It's, it's got, a, it's got a wireless thing that's to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to wait for the lights. So five, five lights, no more. No more than five. But, but Not the, six, five. But the first light comes on. Is this what Tobar's in? The light <laughs> raft. Great graphics, aren't they? <laughs> it's just a dot. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two bars into the life raft, but I've not given him the... the yeah, how can he do that? Yet. He can't work on his own. Tommy must be controlling him. Tommy's alive. Oh, that's all right. I've got, yeah, Tobar <laughs> may get a bit rusty in all this water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tommy's alive. Uh... Tobar breaks... Show, I was looking, show Tobar climbing steps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. how, how, how did it... Mm. No, we don't know. <laughs> the, 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 the submarines are not big places. Not particularly. <laughs> and Tobar, as we've established, is about 15 foot tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's only one room you can actually fit in. Yeah. I'm not sure how we climbed down the conning tower or anything like that. No. Uh, but, but Luckily, that scene was cut and we didn't <laughs> need to see it. It, it was as powerful to the plot. Yeah. Maybe, like a bat pole. Maybe <laughs> slid down it like a bat pole. <laughs> Tobar, being only 15 foot tall, is clumsy and breaks the steering <laughs> wheel. Because it it? <laughs> it's locked. And uh, Tommy says, oh, let's try and move it, try and move it. To oh, it come off in his hands. I didn't do it. <laughs> Tobar, I didn't do it. It weren't me. It weren't me. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to do it. You thought that. <laughs> it was not <weren't> me. <laughs> now, the crew's been found in boats out to sea. 
Yeah, they've been picked up mm, already. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. So, but, mm, but the sub's not working. Mm. So they decide, <laughs> let's blow up the sub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy sat on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, good naval thing. No one else can have the sub, so we're going to blow it up. I get that. That's fine, that's fine. It's only Tommy. Uh, Tommy's uh, just sat on it. <laughs> the, the, the professor says, I can't control Tobar. Why, Tommy's controlling Tobar. He go haywire. Yeah. Two people are controlling at the same time. And he goes, haywire, I've got... <laughs> yeah, I've got, yeah, yeah. Tom, uh, Tobar. Good heavens, Tommy's sitting on a time bomb. Due to go off at midnight. That's four o'clock our time. Can't you direct Tobor to locate the bomb with the command set? It would be an awful risk. Tommy's already controlling him by ESP, and Tobor can't respond to two methods of control at once. What would happen? His electronic impulses conflict Jammer's receptor tubes. Like when he flew the artificial moon. He went berserk. But if you don't try... He's right. Have headquarters find out where they placed the bomb. We've got to get word to Tommy. Oh yeah, and Tommy has to try and stop his ESP. Yes. It's just been... <laughs> It's off. <laughs> yeah. And we're out of the room. And back in the room. <laughs> yes, I must stop thinking about yes, the Yes, uncle, uncle is trying to get through. through. Yeah. Yes, I must stop thinking <laughs> silly things. <laughs> yeah. Tobar's going crazy. Yeah. yeah. He searches for the bomb, doesn't he, Tobar? Well, Tommy's sat on it. Yeah. But... <laughs> the professor signals goes out. So Tommy has to cry him again, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got... <laughs> Tobar throws the bomb. <laughs> yeah, got... It's a long 30 seconds, isn't it? Because he got 30 seconds to explode. Yeah. Yeah. Tobar uh, throws the bomb a mile about away. A mile. <laughs> yeah. How how he got back out of the sub <laughs> is beyond me. Uh, the sub's heading for a signal. Yes, uh, Tommy spots it's a pirate ship. It's a pirate ship. It's always a pirate, isn't it? Pirate ship. Yeah. It's pulling the sub towards it with a magnetic ray. It is indeed. Oh, who would have thought that one? Tommy um, Tommy can hide, but they can't hide the tow bar. <laughs> 20 foot tall. 20 foot tall. <laughs> so they decide they're going to do the Trojan horse, aren't they? Yeah. So they they they, they, they go in, or they, they pull the sub towards them. Tow bar switches That's itself, or, or Tommy switches tow bar, oh, yeah. God knows. Yeah. And, uh, because they're really up to date, these pirates. Yeah. They think Tobar's part of the boat, they do. part of the sub, don't they? The pirates what? are happy with their new sub. I'm not sure what the part and of the they sub. Think, they think he's an automatic pilot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In human <laughs> form. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he broke off the wheel has <laughs> got no... But now let's get serious. Yeah. Now it's time to tell the world who they are. Well, they're going to pick him up. They pick Tobar up, don't they? Oh, yeah, to move him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 55 tonne. Yeah. <laughs> the sub's going around <laughs> an angle. Yeah. yeah, attention the world. Yeah. Attention to the world. Mr. Ohm. Ohm, yeah. Uh, very, very clear speaking. But, Did you notice yeah, that? He was very good. He was very uh, tuned in. There was none yeah. of this static <laughs> Brian Eno stuff. This was perfect E waves, this. Waves of Arts, the scientist. This was Ohm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's holding the USA to ransom. ransom. He is. Uh, he's, he says he's a pirate. And he wants all the gold in Fort Knox. He does. That's not much. Basically, he's Goldfinger. Yeah, <laughs> before Goldfinger. Yeah. And he's got a long-range missile. America must pay. Yes. America will not pay. <laughs> no. <laughs> we want all your gold, um, or we'll destroy New York. Yes. Yeah, well, they, they, well, they want to destroy the pirate ship, don't they? But yes. they can't because Tommy's on there. Yeah. We don't care about Tobar, but we, you know, we're going to save Tommy. Yeah. Tommy's got a future in front of him. <laughs> they fire a missile at the pirates. Yes. Attention, I'm speaking to the world. I am Admiral Morgan. At my side is Dr. Herman Ohm, whose name is heard with respect by every scientist in every land. Ohm, a worker of miracles. He disappeared with a number of enemy scientists at the end of the war. But who is this Morgan fellow? Whoever he is, he's insane. We have just captured the latest atomic submarine built by the United States. This demonstrates but a fraction of the power we alone control. With this power, we can kill the engines of every craft that floats or flies, or any vehicle that runs on the land. This power places me in a position to dictate my terms to the world. My first victim is the richest and the best able to afford tribute, the United States of America. 
already. I have your atomic submarine. Are you ready to hear my next demand? You're right, Steve. He's mad as a hatter. Think we'll give in? Not a chance. This is Fleet Admiral Dudley, United States Navy. Whoever you may be, Morgan, the USA regards you strictly as a pirate. You speak of demands. We demand you surrender immediately. That is our only answer. Surrender immediately. This is Admiral Morgan. Admiral Dudley, your words cause me the greatest pain. A pain which can only be eased by doubling the terms which I was going to ask you originally. I now demand all the gold in Fort Knox. This gold will be placed on the battleship Missouri. The battleship will then be taken outside New York Harbor and there abandoned. I shall then direct it to my base with an invention of Dr. Om. Any attempt to hinder its safe arrival will be met by a ray that will paralyze forever your city of New York. You have an hour to reply. Surrender immediately. That is our only answer. Well, Tommy's spying on the baddies, doesn't he? he? Is. he, he and he sets Tobar off, doesn't he? He does. He starts using his ESP. He, he switches mm. it back on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tobar sneaks <laughs> 78 <laughs> tons, <laughs> 54 feet high, and he sneaks up behind them. <laughs> it's a stealthy robot, this Tobar. <laughs> Tommy uses the periscope to yes. find Tobar and, and, and ES is in PE him. <laughs> To get the crew of the pirate ship. Yeah, well, Tobar catches everybody. He does. Yeah. They can't get away from him. Stealth like, isn't he? He's like it's quick. Ninja. Well. <laughs> ninja like. They try to use the ray, the, yeah. the, the you know, what they used to bring down the planes. Yes. On Tobar. But it's no good, and he captures them. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's, just not, yeah. it's not like, why doesn't it work or anything? No, it just doesn't work. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Don't work on tape, Bob. Well, he's not made, he's made out of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Pla sticky back plastic and bits of wood. If Blue Peter ever taught us anything, you can make an 84 ton, 75 foot tall robot out of sticky back plastic and balsa wood and uh, an egg carton. And we've got Tommy <laughs> and the, um, the sub. Uh, uh, under our control again. Yes. And that's the end. <laughs> they licked them good. They licked them good. They licked them good. <laughs> no they licked idea. Them good. This is Tommy Adams calling Admiral Dudley and Uncle Bruce. I can't get through to the Admiral. Uncle Bruce. Get me over to that missile. Uncle Bruce, are you listening? This is Tommy. We have recaptured the atomic submarine. Missile crew, hold your fire. Missile crew, hold your fire. Can you hear me, Uncle Bruce? We licked them. Tobar and I cleaned up the pirates. Boy, you should have seen it, a massacre. Better send someone to pick us up. And say hello to Steve, and tell him we ought to see Tobar now. And I noticed at the end, yeah. that, that was the end, and the credits came up, and Tobar was played by Tobar. I know he was. Well, I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> there was no act. This was Tobar. It was definitely Tobar. <laughs> <laughs> Not a stunt Tobar. It was the real Tobar all the way through it. Yes. Yeah, no, no. There was no he did all his own stunts. <laughs> <laughs> now, this was 57. <laughs> right. The film... Um, Tobar the Great was in 55. 55, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I remember. It. <laughs> a young boy genius befriends his grandfather's robot, designed as a test pilot for space travel and converted by foreign spies, or corrupted by, sorry, it's, it says converted, but it's corrupted by foreign yeah. spies, I think. Yeah, terrible. And that, that was the film. Yeah. Would have been a good film, that. I think so. And in the film... In the film? What? Is there? Yeah, there is. Surely. Surely not. There was in the film... There, keep, keep going. You're going in a minute. Was there a... A woman? <laughs> you said it, sir! Tobar. There was. Tobar has a love interest. He does. Mrs. No, no, Tobar. Mrs. Tobar. <laughs> Female Tobar. <laughs> Whilst we're on the subject of Tobar... Yeah. Did you see man... We, we landed on Mars, or well, not man, but the, <laughs> we landed something on Mars. Okay. And I think, wouldn't it have been good when they turned the camera on if Marvin was standing there? <laughs> Marvin, Marvin. <laughs> I'm gone. Where's the kaboom? 
There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. Or people were standing there and go, well, that's the planet gone, the Earth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's space balls. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. there was a card there. Your Amazon delivery was tempted <laughs> at 12 o'clock when you were out. <laughs> all these possibilities. <laughs> But at least we've now found another planet to throw all our junk on. That's it. That's right. We've we've thrown the first bit of hardware up there. <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to throw the rest of it. I mean, it's not the first. All this mission. plastic in the sea, we can throw it all up on Mars now. It's not the first mission to Mars, though, is it? We've had other things. Well, I've seen the film. Yeah. Martian. Martian. Yeah. 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 And there's potatoes up there. Yeah. He did lots of things up there. <laughs> and well, he left bits of space craft. Uh, all the junk. All the junk. All the, uh, well, there's junk on the moon as well. We isn't throw it everywhere, don't we? We, we don't we care. We just litter every yeah. planet we yeah. go to. Yeah. <laughs> um, say, so, Tobart the Great. I've got 1954. Oh. I'm just. Yeah. The film inspired Tobar the Great comic book series. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel as though I should have. Yeah. So I've got some facts on Tobar the film, but nothing on this program. No, well, it was, it's, it was a one-off. They tried to do it for. Yeah. It, it's one of them, is it? Oh, so it's one of them. It's <laughs> it's of the 1950s. Let's do a cinema film reel. Captain America, Superboy, Superman, that sort of. You, you'll be, you'll be glad to know Tobar and the remote control are still in excellent condition, as they're in the hands of a private um, party who collect it. Oh. And he's kept it in pristine condition. Surely the remote control is Tommy. So it, Tommy it, it doesn't so, say, but I'm guessing it is. So he's kept Tommy <laughs> in pristine condition. <laughs> <coughs> Here comes Toba. Well. It was a proposed American science fiction TV series produced in 1956 to 1957. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> the project was never picked up and only a pilot episode was ever filmed. And if only we could find that. I wish we could. We'd watch that. <laughs> it would have been a good one. Topar the Great was released on DVD in May 2008. Was it really? By uh, Lion's House. Oh. Yeah, you can still get it. Yes, what you're getting for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm not quite sure how it was supposed to be a science fiction series. No, no, I'm, I've been, I'm struggling with that one myself. Yeah, well I know it's a robot and obviously robots Robot are science, science fiction. fiction. <laughs> I'm still not sure. I, I, I'm saying it would have turned into a serial sort of thing. Yeah, it? It, would you, a... it, 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 it would just replace like Superman or something. Yeah, yeah it would have been a new cliffhanger every week. week. You know, Will Tobal get rusty? Will, will, <laughs> will who is rusty? <laughs> uh, and, and, and like that, you know, someone, some, someone somewhere would have gained Tobar by their ESP control. They would have got a bad hat or something. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can see that one coming, but obviously it didn't. No, it, didn't. it never picked up. No, I don't know why the quality was obviously there. <laughs> Now, you know I love these programs. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> it's going to get higher rated than Raven, I'm telling you. <laughs> I just love them. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, for Tobar's acting ability alone. Yeah. He's, uh, all his own stunt work. He was in that rocket. He was. He was in that dinghy. He with was. all that water around him. <laughs> it was a risky assignment for it, him. It was for him, yeah. He didn't know he was going to be buoyant. <laughs> no one knew. No one knew. No. no one knew how he got out the rocket. <laughs> or up the steps to the cooling tower. But it doesn't matter. We we discuss how did the how did he get out the rocket? Because surely a rocket just sinks, sinks to the bottom of the I, sea. I would have thought so too. Well, but but we're not shown, so we don't know. He, he could have floated. He could maybe, for a few moments. That's when he would have took him. Well, yeah, he's. he's <laughs> <laughs> did he have to blow up the rafts? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe Toby took Toby Tommy with him because he was a life boy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he just hung on to him. You're buoyant, human flesh. <laughs> Keep Toby afloat. <laughs> maybe Tommy was the dinghy. Yes. Yes. Uh, apart from having ESP, he could have been a dinghy as well. <laughs> Like, like Joe Knighty, he could, yeah. have been, could have been a dinghy. 
We can be anything we want to be in this life. We can. We just have to try hard. We do. <laughs> just not podcasters. <laughs> or, I didn't co say, or coherent. I didn't say you could be successful. You just you can do anything you want. Yeah, you can do anything you want. Yeah. <laughs> Donald Trump's proved this point as we speak. <laughs> so let's rate this. Oh. <sighs> Seven. Seven. Yeah, it's brilliant. Love it. Um, for a short programme, it was highly entertaining. <laughs> Same. I did not feel my time was wasted on oh, this no. one. No, 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 no. I'm going to go seven as well. I think Sweet. we're in agreement as well on yeah. this one. Yeah. I, I urge everyone, you know, I found it on YouTube. You should find it on YouTube and just watch it. It's a, <laughs> we know genius when we see it. Yeah. <laughs> it will get remade as a Hollywood blockbuster. I dare say it will. I, I see Tommy being played by Tom Cruise, maybe. Yes, it's yes. the I, right height. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, perhaps playing the man in the wheelchair. Uncle it's, Tommy. The good, good shout. It could be. Yeah. Or could be Tom Selleck. Bring. There's not enough Tom Selleck on the telly. As you, you're going to do something you now, aren't you? No, 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 no. What, 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 what are you pushing? Are you pushing I'm buttons? just going to say, why does the professor have to be a man when it could be a woman? You said it, sir. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I'm thinking though, yeah, Dame, Dame, you, Dame Miriam. Uh. <laughs> Dame Miriam, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, but you can't have her in a wheelchair. It wouldn't uh, work. No. It wouldn't work so well. She legs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we can't... Oh, I think he, this professor did have legs. He may have had. Maybe he had robot legs. Ah. <laughs> he built a robot. Uh, may, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that one of the other episodes would be <laughs> walking again. Yeah. Maybe he's actually an early Davros. Yes. <laughs> He could have been Mantis. Yes, yeah. No, no, fair point, yeah. yeah. Yes. But he wasn't. He wasn't, no. <laughs> but who say he probably was a distant relative of Mantis? He could have been, yes. <laughs> Praying. <laughs> but yes, I, I can see the Hollywood blockbuster being made now, definitely. Tony Barnes coming back, we're sure of it. Yeah, I think. I think we should put invest money into it. <laughs> We'll get the merchandise out there first, get, <laughs> yeah. get, get the interest going. Yeah. I'll check I'll check on the rights to Tow Bar, see if it's... <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll pick that up, we'll do that. We can film it. If they can make Raven for, what was it, one and a half million? Yeah, yeah. It's got to be, can't be an episode, surely. I think it was that episode. Was it? Yeah. It was a hairstylist. Ah. <laughs> well, we wouldn't have to worry about that with Tow Bar. No. No, oh, no, no. <laughs> There's no diva -ish. Not with Tow Bar. No. No, you get the real deal with Tow Bar. You do? <laughs> I'm sure that private collector would lend him out to, to, a, to a pair of podcasters. Or well, if not, we'll steal it. <laughs> That's also a plan. <laughs> He's only 104 tons. We'll get him out. <laughs> they picked him up. Those pirates can pick him up. We can pick him, him up. up. Not a problem. But they, 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 they were seamen. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not going down that route. <laughs> we'll leave that one. <laughs> Right, that's what we're we doing next week. I've left that. <laughs> yeah, I've got that. Time after time. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, this is was a, a listener suggestion. Was it? Have you remembered? Well, since, so actually, since half an hour actually, ago. I mean, last week. Actually, I said it was a listener suggestion. I'm not sure they listen. They just suggested it, which is, which oh. is just as good. <laughs> Probably the better way to do things. <laughs> don't listen, just suggest things. Yeah, just suggest things and don't listen. And I'm not sure who. Maybe I'll find out next week. I doubt it. Because it means I've got to roll through. Oh, um, I, 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 it's bad enough you got to watch the program. I mean, you got. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's on Twitter. It was on Twitter. I so. said, what, what? You've got what? Five? Go back five? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> four. Well, according to this, I've um, done thousands and thousands of tweets. Have you? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> so that means going back for a few thousand. I told you, you should put screen lock on, well you don't do these sort of things. <laughs> I'm very interactive. <laughs> <laughs> more like inactive. Yeah, that's, that's probably more, <laughs> more accurate. So, um, so, until next time after time. Oh, shall I tell you that I went to see the new Robin Hood film? Did you? Yes. What Robin Hood? I didn't know there was a new Robin Hood film. Oh, it's a new Robin Hood film. No. Yes. With, with the guy from Kingsman. Which one? You know, the young guy, Eggsy. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every turn, is it? I can't. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah well, it doesn't matter, yeah. Let's, let's, I'll, I'll Google him. 
Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the Didn't have the song once. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his band of men. Um, Something from the band. Karen, to the Karen Edgington and Jamie Foxx. There you go. Ah, Jamie Foxx, yeah, yeah. Now, as you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> they had nice leather outfits and stuff in. That and that's side. why you went. Yeah. Yeah, 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 straight away. <laughs> One could say the dress was rather modern. Okay. When I first saw a glimpse of the trailer, I assumed it was a modern telling of Robin Hood. Yes. Because of the way they were dressed. But no, it was still set in the uh, Middle Ages. Oh, right, okay. Sherwood yeah. Forest? It comes into it later, it's not at first. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a mining town. <laughs> they appear to be mining fire. <laughs> I'm not sure that's that called a volcano. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they were working for Saruman. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say they may not have been historically accurate on everything they did. Not like Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. No. Because that is historically accurate. Because yeah, I know I've, I've I've ridden a horse Com many a time. Compared to this, it was from, spot on. <laughs> from, was it Portsmouth, whatever, to Nottingham in half a day? Robin Hood probably did have an American accent. Possibly. I would say definitely. No, oh, okay, I won't argue with you. So there's, there's a couple of problems with the film. <laughs> <laughs> Start. Right, right, the Middle Ages. Oh yeah. Do you think there were many spectacle makers? In the Middle Ages. What are they spectators? Do you think Friar Tuck wore glasses? Wow. <laughs> I always thought nice, he was a bit short sighted. And, and, and not fat rims, nice, really tiny rims, nice small glasses. Oh, what designer ones? Designer. Designer, 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 with designer sunglasses, free. They weren't designer sunglasses, they were glasses. And he could. React alike? Just by moving his head from one scene to the next, make them disappear. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> Maybe it's magic. I don't know if Friar Tuck, Friar Friar Tuck. Tuck was a magician. He might have been. He could have been. He might have been Merlin. He could have been Merlin. Oh. Pretended to be Friar Tuck. Tuck. I can't say it. Truck. No, I wouldn't have been Friar I'm going to say call him Truck from now on. Or Friar. Friar. <laughs> <laughs> now, the acting was... Paul? Okay. Good as Togar. Not as good as Toe Bar. Well, who is? Who is? Who is? You know, who is? Yeah. Academy Award winning Toe Bar, I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear that, Barbara Bray? Academy Award winning. <laughs> She's got three of them. She no, like nothing compared to Toe Bar. <laughs> <laughs> that man could throw a pose. And some of the accents might have gone up and down. Here, <laughs> 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 go blimey. We're not in a very points. Very bobby. Yeah. And, yeah. But. You know, as a popcorn film, if I if I'm not comparing it to you know a classically good film, Robin like Hood, Prince of Thieves, Barbarella, uh, <laughs> which funny enough I watched last <laughs> week. <laughs> we're on the same wave, yeah. See, yeah, no, no, I mean I know where you're going now with Barbarella. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, well I went with Barbarella as well. It's Duran Duran. Yes, Duran Duran. <laughs> you know Duran Duran. I do know Duran Duran. <laughs> She was a game girl, was Barbarella. Oh, she was. Yes. Not the hell the film was about, but she was a game girl. I'm still not sure. <laughs> Funny, I did watch it last week. <laughs> Anyone who takes off their spacesuit in zero gravity is fine with me. Right. Yeah. yeah. And did that's it... the opening scene alone, isn't it? Oh, no, it did it very well. That's I all thought. I needed to watch. But... <laughs> I'll come back to this later. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yes. So, yes. so you know, if, if you're comparing it to a classic film. Yeah. It wouldn't hold up. No. But if I'm comparing it to like Venom, it's yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. is, is there, do you think there's a reason we don't do movie reviews? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. We don't really do TV reviews. Not very well. <laughs> no. Not very well. But no one's noticed. We do try and do a, a odd movie review. Have we? Well, well, we've said we've seen a movie like that. Like, yeah, like, like yeah. At the end, yeah. we'll fill it in if we're, if we're short on it. We're very, very short. We just rabbit about Actually, anything. we probably weren't that short on this one. It's probably just as long it as... It probably longer than Raven. It was longer than Raven. Yeah, it probably was, because it was genius work. Yeah. 
genius. You can't you, you can't shorten down genius. No, you, you want to get every nuance <laughs> in there for the listener. Every clunk. Yeah. <laughs> clunk click. Yeah. No, every no, mistake. don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you can go there with the uh, naval people, I can. <laughs> I haven't been there with the naval people for quite a long time. Yeah. Because <laughs> you a, got thrown out. That, of that was rumours. <laughs> Anyway. Anyway, so uh, you haven't been to the cinema? Lately. No, I haven't been to the cinema. Well, as you know, my family and friends got together and brought me a year. Listen up, if you think he's got family and friends. I family, didn't find family, myself. Mate, friends, friends, if you think he's got friends. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Family, I can't, yeah, he does have family. Occasionally they visit. <laughs> about once a month they're allowed to come and see him. <laughs> but anyway, they got together, brought me this year's worth of cinema tickets and you waste it and go and watch <laughs> I, I will go and see anything now <laughs> <laughs> as you prove as venom <laughs> i uh, didn't even know there was a new robin hood didn't you no yes no you should go and see it no, apparently not <laughs> <laughs> i have a feeling i, I maybe... <laughs> possibly not possibly you know, not i could have sworn any money that guy ritchie directed this robin hood Saying that, have you seen uh, the King Arthur one with Guy Ritchie? I've seen 20 minutes of it and I couldn't get any past it. I've seen the whole film. Oh, yeah. Oh, Does it get any better? Only when David Beckham appears. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's, it's just, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. It's just absolutely it's, brilliantly I, rubbish. I got to the bit. Where they well, I think some people are questioning right, the one who's going to be Arthur. Don't tell you, and it all wait. goes all Cockney. Yes, oh, and, there's a lot of Cockney, and, in and it. it was this geezer, and he was geezer, and, and, and a wee, and a woo, yeah. And that's why I thought he directed this Robin Hood, but he didn't. No, <laughs> so, so, but he he's missed done his, He's done in his style. <laughs> <laughs> it's an homage, <laughs> an homage to, <laughs> to Guy Ritchie. I think it is. They see his talent, and thought, you know, well, you can't beat that. Can't be that. I was just looking at who directed it. Ota Buffmus. Buffrust. Buffrust? <laughs> Buffrust. <laughs> yeah, you got your glasses. I ain't got my glasses on, it could be Buttfuss for all I know. It, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Foxx was quite good. Oh, okay. He, he's weird, isn't he? Because he should be a really top actor. Yes. And he's done such terrible films. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jamie, but there you are. It's out there. It's, it's, true. it's the truth. It's the truth. You've done it. Uh, he, he was good in, was it Clatterall with Tom Cruise? Yes. Uh, yeah. he, he was good in the um, Don't ask me. Piano Guy. Uh, uh, yeah, Piano Guy. Uh, blind Piano Guy. Uh, Ray Charles. Ray Charles. <laughs> he was good in Ray Charles. That's Ray Charles. Not in Ray Charles. That's <laughs> Ray Charles. And um, he the puppet. Oh, that was Lord Charles. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and uh, then, then he did one called Stealth, about the, the intelligent planes. Yeah, see, the, the, you can see where the career's going now, can't you? That I really liked. <laughs> did you really? No, no one else likes it. Ah. But I thought, oh, this is good, because yeah. it subverted my attentions. I thought, oh, the AI is going to be bad and take over the world. And it sort of was. Then it wasn't. Ah, oh, brilliant. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I don't do film reviews. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next week. Next week. Time after time. Time after time. Let's like this podcast. Time yeah. after time we come back. Yeah, and I know what record you're going to play on that one. No, I'm not. You're not. No, no you will. I won't. You will. I won't. You can't resist it. I will subvert expectations. Just like stealth. <laughs> <laughs> he will. <laughs> No, no Cindy Lauper. I like Cindy Lauper. I can't. See, I can't. I can't deny. You're going to, aren't you? But um, no. Yeah. I, I think I've already used it as well. Probably. Um, but if you're going to use it, I, I mean, don't forget this share as well. Turn back time. Because. Oh, wasn't it a time cop series? Might I think. Be. I think I went with share on that one. Yeah, you would. I, I, I always mm. side with Cher. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Political alignments are insane. <laughs> ever, since, <laughs> ever since she did that thing on the boat. Yeah. Yeah, Navy. Navy. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're all for the Navy, aren't you? <laughs> you have to get right behind them. 
I feel like we should do a Dick Henry sketch now. We are. No one knows who that is, but we do. Oh, we remember Dick Henry. We remember him. Oh, he was awful. <laughs> but I like That's it. it. <laughs> Paul Daniels, Dick Henry, is there no cultural thing that we won't tap into? No. Ap apart from anything modern. No, of course no. <laughs> anything past the 70s, we don't want to know it. No, it's rubbish. I, I don't mind 80s films. Well, like 85. Anything up to 85. 85, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> it's like how most of the TV shows we do. Yeah. I think when we get to 2000, we're saying this is modern. <laughs> Even though it's like 18 years ago. <laughs> modern, modern stuff. Well, I think time after time could come into that. It is modern. Is it? It's only a few years old. It's probably older than that. Oh. I did. I watched the first episode. Well, I hope so, because that's the old premise of the show. <laughs> <laughs> but not for the podcast. Oh. <laughs> well, before podcast... No, no, we were doing the podcast. I just watched it to see what it's like. Ah. Because do you remember that film? Where, well, don't um, give it away. No, different film. Oh. Um, I, I, wasn't the film called Time After Time? Yeah, oh, oh, wait, the series is based on the film. I've just got it. <laughs> <laughs> You all got it there, folks. There it is. There was the penny dropping. That's my Eureka moment. Because <laughs> it's David Warner and uh, Malcolm O'Dell. And Malcolm O'Dell was uh, playing H.G. Wells, who chases... The in, Ripper. In, the Ripper. Through time. You have seen it, yeah. yeah I've seen the film, yeah. yeah. So, so this is based on that oh, film. Oh, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> Did you hear that penny drop? It was like... Tobar falling off a conning tower. <laughs> <laughs> Tobar would never fall off a conning tower. <laughs> uh, I think that'd do. Yeah, that'd do. Well, I think we've rabbited for hours. Oh, yeah. uh, people have stopped listening after the Tobar bit, I'm yeah, sure. Well, why wouldn't you? Maybe even the avid Tobar fans will not carry on listening to this bit. Well, you should, because you never know what's going to happen next with a Tobar program. I'm sure Tobar's never going away. <laughs> I have that feeling. <laughs> Drum beat drop, guess what? I am not a robot. <laughs> I told you, never underestimate a tow bar. <laughs> Come on, do it now. It's not going to feel as fresh. No, it's not going to feel. But I'll, I'll try. I'll try and act as though I don't know what's coming next. You look like you've heard this for the first time now. Um, I thought that, that, that tow bar he was good. He could pull a caravan because <laughs> he's a tow bar. <laughs> Oh, God. I can't believe I said that off air. No, I can't believe it. The one good line. <laughs> you said it off air. Waited 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm good joking. And now it was. There it was. That's probably the best joke I've ever got to tell. Yeah, it possibly was, or will be, or ever. Well, well, well was, yeah. was, will be, ever. Do you think well. I should edit it and put it in the beginning? <laughs> Pop it. No, don't spoil it. No, 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 no leave it. <laughs> I might actually do the, the closing theme. And then stick it on at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the avid listener to see who, who's listening out there. It's Easter egg. The, it's for the guy who's fallen asleep listening yeah. to us. It's and the so he wakes up. Oh, what's that? Yeah, oh, Tobar, I missed that <laughs> one. <laughs> Attempt 179. <laughs> <laughs> you 
I want to take you to a tow bar. I want to take you to a tow bar. I want to take you to a tow bar. Tow bar. Tow bar. Let's get a sub. Let's get a nuclear sub at the at the tow bar. Tow bar. Woo! That worked brilliantly. Yeah, do you want another go? Or? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> I didn't realise you were going to say all the lyrics. I thought you were only saying tow bar. Uh, yeah, well, some kind of. Don't worry about it. Attempt 4,000. <laughs> <laughs> all the lyrics. I'm sure it starts with that girl anyway. Anyway, there you go. You, I want to take you to a tow bar. I want to take you to a tow bar. I want to take you to a tow bar. Tow bar, tow bar. Let's get a gun, you can stop. Let's start a war. You just don't start a war. We say we're going to get a sub, a nuclear sub. Let's go again. Right, attempt one. Right, first time we get this. Yep, perfect. So, uh, instead of, uh, don't start a nuclear war. Let's go. Get a nuclear a sub. sub. Nuclear sub. Gotcha. Yeah. Then start a war. Yeah, then start the war. <laughs> when we've got the nuclear sub. Oh, yeah. You. I want to take you to a tow bar. I want to take you to a tow bar. I want to take you to a tow bar. Tow bar. Tow bar. Let's get a sub. A nuclear sub. A start a nuclear war. At the tow bar. Tow bar. Tow bar. Woo! Perfect. 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 First time. Perfect. First time. Knew we had it in us. Yeah. I'm not going to use that.